Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today it's your host, Danjo, here once again with um, not a gaming video, but I am going to be talking about gaming products. And uh, one thing I always am curious about is uh, controllers. And one of my favorite companies that makes officially licensed controllers for Nintendo is Hori. Uh, they also make officially licensed stuff for PlayStation and uh, more recently Xbox. So they make a lot of officially licensed products. Um, however, they announced this collaboration with the Pokemon company once again. For Pokemon Legends Arceus, they are going to be making uh, a version of the Split Pad Pro, which I absolutely love. It is my favorite way to play my Switch in handheld mode, as well as a bag and a case. However, as far as I can tell, the case is not sized for the Split Pad Pro. Very confusing, I know. However, we're going to get more into that here in a minute. Splitpad Pro is wonderful, and uh, as you can see here on the Amazon listing, um, it's not actually going to be coming out until the end of January, so there's quite a few weeks to wait, but if you want to pre-order and get yours you know, before they're sold out, a lot of these different styles do seem to be like limited editions or limited runs, that sort of thing. Um, and the question I see a lot on the internet is, do are they the right size for the Switch OLED? And as you can see in the preview picture here, and a lot of other people have confirmed, yes, the Split Pad Pro works just fine on the OLED. Um, and yeah, a lot of the controllers and stuff I'm going to be talking about in this video is not coming out till towards the end of January, so this video probably won't come out until a bit closer to the end of the year but I did want to get this out soon because a lot of people are buying up all kinds of things for the holidays for gifts and such so if a controller is on your list you may want to you may want to consider this now one thing that I've been wanting for a long time is another way to use my Split Pad Pro. And they also just announced <laughs> this amazing device the Split Pad Pro attachment set for Nintendo Switch. Now, essentially, this is very similar to the uh, included uh, Joy Con uh, controller attachment. I'd, I'm not even sure what it's called, but essentially it's a piece of plastic that you slide your Joy-Cons into and it communicates with the Switch as a single controller instead of two separate Joy-Cons. And this is basically doing the same thing, uh, making them a wired USB solution for the Switch. Now. This is currently only available for pre-order on PlayAsia, and it's not actually in stock. In fact, they have ran out of pre-orders. So I'm hoping the high demand is kind of going to encourage Hori to release this uh, outside of Japan, because I would love this. I would love this. And uh, it's kind of like cut off on the bottom there, but uh, the middle part also has an audio jack. So if you use a headset to like use in-game chat for the few games on the Switch, you can do that. Or um, if you just want to play your Switch on the big screen wearing headphones, enjoying the audio, that's another thing you can do. Uh, it also supports turbo. And I'm really curious to see if this thing will work on my Brook uh, Wingman XE, which allows me to use a bunch of Switch controllers, 
uh, wired or wireless on my PS4. Because that would be wonderful. Because one thing I love about Hori is their D-pads. Another thing I love about Hori is everything else. The button quality, the sticks are fantastic on these. And um, this way, if something fails on a controller, I still have the middle part. I can just use a different set of the Split Pad Pro instead of getting a whole new controller. However, the Split Pad Pro is the same price as some Pro controllers. So, uh, uh, tomato, tomato, I guess. However, the feel and quality of this thing, like, I love playing my Switch with the Split Pad Pro. I love it. It feels so good. And uh, being able to dock them into a thing, like to use them as one controller, I've been wanting this for so long. So long. And so I'm really hoping uh, it actually does release outside of Japan. Um, they're also doing some other styles, including this like very appealing Mega Man style. And I know I have seen <laughs> this design before and it's very similar to that old um, retro bit Super Nintendo controller that was for like branded for Mega Man so I think Capcom like sent them over the same thing uh, however I love the ABXY or like 8-bit Mega Man style font it's so good looking and like the different tones of blue like the darker blue and the lighter blue for like it's Mega Man colors it's wonderful and in case you can tell from the music I I'm a big fan of Mega Man so but yeah this one's coming out a week earlier almost on the 21st of January but um, again pre-orders and it's 60 bucks right so it's still cheaper than buying Joy-Cons and they feel way better than Joy-Cons. So, huge benefit there. Um, they also made this amazing Pokemon design a while ago with uh, Pikachu and Eevee on both sides of the thing. Um, and some of these designs they reused for the Hori Pad Mini, which is like half the price. Uh, however, the availability on some of those has been spotty and it's not the same exact form factor but the analog sticks the d-pads like everything on it feels great and uh typically you can get those for 25 bucks and they have a bunch of different designs on those but um yeah oftentimes you can find some of these on sale for like 50 sometimes less so that's pretty cool um Back to the final thing, they're actually doing a Hori Pad Plus for the Switch, which is kind of designed around the recent Hori Pad they did for the Xbox Series X. And I love this design. Um, the, there's a few things about this I really enjoy, like it has wired motion aim which is a little bit different than regular gyro controls. I don't know if this thing has regular gyro controls, but there is a feature on this that once activated, it has the standard aim mode, which is essentially using, I believe the gyroscope, but it's mapped to the right stick. So it's specifically for aiming in FPS games or they say racing games and stuff. I, I don't know how applicable that would actually be. Um, and then they have, if you like press the button again, it goes into sniper mode, which it basically halves the sensitivity. So it makes uh, finer aiming um, much easier, I guess. So 
I don't know how usable that would be in FPS games. I don't play a lot of S FPS games. However, I really like the build of this controller. It looks very much like a lot of the same components that they use on the Splitpad Pro, which is part of the reason I think this is going to be a great option for a lot of people. And we haven't really had like a Hori uh, FPS Plus, essentially, which is a version that they made for the PlayStation 4 that a lot of people were a fan of. Uh, we haven't had that wired Pro Controller option from Hori that has like some extra features, bells and whistles. Uh, it also has programmable back buttons, which again, very helpful, especially for games like FPS games, or, you know, maybe you just want to map them to the stick presses, like that's what I do for all my games. Like my primary controllers have back paddles for that exact input because I don't like clicking on the sticks uh, for the default input that that typically is mapped for. But, um, yeah, this looks wonderful to me. Um, and personally, like, if the Split Pad Pro attachment doesn't come, if, 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 the, if it doesn't ship, like, uh, if they don't bring it to other regions outside of Japan, I would definitely be interested in this one. Like, this looks like a fantastic controller. Uh, plus, it's got like this texturing on the back of it, and uh, the back paddle buttons are kind of recessed a little bit, so it seems like one of those things that's going to be very accessible, but you're not going to be pressing them on accident. So the form factor looks great. I, I love the design, and uh, I just think this is going to be a great controller for the Switch. And um, yeah. So, if you don't have a Split Pad Pro yet, and you're wondering, okay, well, I'm going to need a different case, right, for my Switch, if I get this, Hori is, astonishingly, making a Switch Pad, Split Pad Pro compatible travel case that's compatible with the OLED model and the Switch Lite. And this is coming out at the end, towards the end of the year. But it's just, it's literally a soft case with like pockets. And it's, it seems so flimsy. Like I, I, I have no idea why they chose to do this. Like it just doesn't look like it's gonna protect the system at all. It's like just a bag for your Switch. Which is, uh, uh, why? why i mean it has a place for like the ac adapter and um maybe the dock like i it doesn't seem like a big case at all so i don't know if the dock would even fit in here but they want 25 bucks for it which i think no because we have options like this the butterfox grip carry case for hori nintendo switch split pad pro controller also compatible with the new switch oled and this is more like exactly what I would want because it's a hard case. It is molded to fit around the analog sticks on the Split Pad Pro. And uh, it's the right size, which that is all, that is exactly what I would want in a Switch case. Personally, I don't play my Switch much um, in handheld because I don't have a case for my Split Pad Pro. And when I put the system down, I want to make sure it's not going to get damaged or anything like that. And because, you know, you bump things off of things and, you know, if it hits something at the wrong angle, it might damage something. And for the Split Pad Pro, sure, it's 50 bucks, whatever. But for the Switch, that's a $300 console, so that's not really a risk I'm willing to take. But 
this is great it has like a pocket for like USB cables like it has a place for like your game cards in it and it's about 20 bucks like what it's like three dollars cheaper than the Hori like pouch that's not even out yet and uh, as you can see like average of five stars like a thousand ratings like a lot of people seem to like it or if that's not your cup of tea there's like a bit stronger like more enforced like actual hard shell case with like the same kind of moldings and everything from tom talk which i've never heard of that company before but um again it's well reviewed and uh it is for the split pad pro and apparently it's large enough for the switch oled which is pretty cool plus i like how they have the the flap in the middle kind of between like just to kind of cover the screen i greatly appreciate that feature because the split pad pro is a little wider um it's not flush with the screen in the back of the system and that is definitely an intentional design because it makes it so much easier to dock your switch uh, correctly because you can't fit it in the dock crooked like you have to have it lined up and so it kind of uh, creates these guide rails for docking your switch which I love and it makes it feel like the switch is more secure in the dock which is wonderful like it seems like such a little like just tiny thing that wouldn't make a big difference but honestly after using it for a while you might not go back <laughs> to using joy cons because um, there's really no reason to unless of course you use your joy cons as wireless controllers sometimes these are you know the split pad pro is not wireless at all uh, I should also mention that they don't have gyro like motion and um, no NFC I knew I was forgetting something um, so you might want to hold on to your joy cons if you use amiibos in your games however I've never used an amiibo on my Wii U or my 3DS or my switch so <laughs> it will it, if that's something that's important to you you know definitely don't sell your uh, joy cons or I guess the official Nintendo Switch Pro controller has NFC built into it so you know there's another option but um, yeah it's just for officially licensed joy con alternatives we don't have many options that feel like a premium product but the split pad pro 100 percent does in my book so um yeah one of these cases might be a good pickup for you again this one's a bit more premium uh and it has the price to match at 35 dollars whereas the other option was very similar and uh was only 22 dollars so you know either one i think would be a good pickup but um yeah that's gonna do it for this uh episode guys this video it's it's this is not one of my regular episodes um yeah so do any of these hori controllers look interesting to you do you guys have a split pad pro already or are considering getting one for somebody as a gift or maybe you just want a second pair or maybe you just really really want that uh split pad pro attachment thing i really hope i can get one of those at some point in the future like without having to order through play asia because shipping is always expensive and it takes like two or three weeks to get your product if you're lucky and um i would just yeah rather not go through that with the whole import thing it's uh yeah not something i'm gonna be doing 
or are you more interested in that um in the hori pad plus for nintendo switch i was talking about again you guys got some time to make your selections uh these aren't coming out until the end of january 2021 or close to it uh the only thing that's coming out by the end of the year is that hori uh bag for nintendo switch so you know it's it's only 25 dollars <laughs> but anyway uh, we're going to get going for now, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by. I greatly appreciate you and greatly, greatly appreciate our Farts and Crap Show members, Old Cranky Gamer and Naval Straconis. Thank you guys so much for your continued support, checking out that join button down below, and choosing to support the show a bit more directly greatly helps out. And uh, if you guys want to see what all the benefits are or, you know, support the show more directly, please, that is the that is the method to do it. So uh, until next time, everybody, take care, and I hope you all have a very happy holiday.